Morning to you all out there. Hope you had a good week. Uh, today I am down at Shoreham. Harbour Arm about probably three quarters of a mile that way and then obviously going down towards Worthing the other way. Weather not the best I have to say. It's a northeasterly, it's cold. We're fishing the tide in for the next two hours then we're going to fish it out till maybe about lunchtime. Target a place. How many weeks have I been saying that? But you've just got to keep trying. So, tactics. Clip down single hook, bit of bling, 125 gram gripper weight. Same on this one, paired up with a single rag on that. And then I've got two manky, sticky old black lug on this. Am I hoping for fish today? Mm, a difficult one. It's not been the best. I went out last weekend, rubbish, hence um, no video. Sea's reasonably flat. It is a bit clearer than it was last weekend. Last weekend was just muddy, 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 and we were down at um, Eastbourne. All of us caught nothing, 12 rods out, really demoralising. So um, today, <laughs> I really don't know. The wind is really, really cold. Let's get these out. So just before I bosh this out, um, I've been kind of focused on trying to get out further because that might give me the edge on the others. I've got Andy and Rob with me today, but the plan is to master a cast that's gonna be able to blast it out there further. Second thing is to um, have a multiplier that actually is reliable works and doesn't overrun. Third thing is, and this is where I might look a bit of a weapon, but it is my secret weapon, is braid. Well, so far so good. Gone out, no overruns. So as you can see, this one went out okay and it's locked in. Um, Why well, didn't think of this sooner, I don't know. But generally out there, there's a lot of bad press about braid on multipliers, although there's a few of you who do use it. So I've been practicing and practicing and practicing to be able to cast a pendulum and I still need more practice but what I'm doing at the moment is still beating the casts that I've used for the last 20 plus years so I'm going to keep on with this it might compress more if I had a slightly heavier weight but then I'm going to need some sort of thumb guard so I don't rip my thumb off but uh, it's all about keeping it smooth so let's get this one out the other good thing about, which I only just noticed, line that goes all the way through, there's no leader knot under my thumb, which often kind of gets in the way. So rod high, out, behind. Goodness. <laughs> Well, I'm pleased I've um, got down here this week and people do wonder why I do this, as I've alluded to in the past. My um, head gets a bit kind of, and I know that's a worse thing to uh, talk about. And there's a lot of you out there going, oh yeah, man up, don't be an idiot. But um, yeah, I had a, a bit of a, not the best week this week, I have to say. Um, works fine. A lot of it's to do with my wife's mother and it's kind of relentless that, um, and it affects both of us, that you're caring for somebody in their 90s and it's just non-stop. Um, you know, when you're on time off, it's non-stop. So my day off yesterday, 
a little tedious, so I'm really happy to be down here. So let's not be um, maudlin, but I did need this. And it would be nice to actually see what I've come down to try and catch. It's highly unlikely today, although it's better today than it was last time because the water is clear. Speaking about tea, um, what? At high tide, we can have um, Cake. a slice of Rick Stein's tea fruit cake. Did you make it? I made it with my own fair hands. Marvellous. Then I would love a piece. And I did wash them after sorting the ragworm. No, 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 no. Well, that's. I don't mind. I actually, on that note, and maybe, again, all of you out there think I'm a bit of a wuss, but I... Uh, don't laugh. And <laughs> don't, on the beach don't, don't, no. Um, when I was finishing last weekend, I had some ragworm left over and I wanted to give them their freedom. So I chucked them out in the sea, but I got my hand in the ragworm to, like, help them out the newspaper because they weren't shaken out too well. And one of them bit me. And normally, I've got nipped by them before, it's just kind of like a nip. But this stung, and then my finger swelled up, and I got like a ruddy great blister on it. Have they got poison in there, or something in their teeth? No, nah, it's probably something that was on your hand. At the, it, there was a ragworm. Yeah. There was a ragworm. It was, your, um, was doing this what? with my hand. Venom? Yeah. Venom. Your venom, you know. Yeah. Smell. Well, it... Definitely had something in it because yeah. it was the like ragworm died, yeah. burning. <laughs> okay, they're not taking it seriously. I'm going to give up. <laughs> Pose for the camera. There you go. Now, this is Hector. Hector is behaving himself because he can see a ham roll in my hand and he is transfixed on the ham roll. Are you very hungry? Do your owners starve you? They don't feed you enough. <laughs> well, don't they feed you? No. no. <laughs> I, I think you're wanted, Hector. <laughs> Hector, I, I think you need to go that way. <laughs> nice to meet Hector. See you later. <laughs> And unsurprisingly, the wind is getting up. Oh dear, I feel it in my juices. It's going to be another one of those not good days. Well, all you can do is try. Try a longer drop this time. So rod high. Hell, come on, that went out. Rob is reeling in and it will <laughs> really knack me off. He's making a big song and dance about reeling in. And if he's got a fish, <laughs> I'm going to have to put a smile on my face and go, oh, well done. He's really labouring pulling this in. Now, this just encapsulates my day. So Rob has reeled in another set of tackle and on that set of tackle, that's not your tackle, is it? On that set of tackle, there is a little, is that a flounder? Yeah, there is a flounder. Well, you've done a good turn by rescuing the little flounder. Yeah. Managed to do the fish -o method and get him out, the little hook. So we've done him a good turn. We've it's picked perfect. him off yeah. somebody else's line. He would have just died out there, bless him, little thing. The optimism of anglers. <laughs> oh, that's all we can keep doing is putting new bait on and chucking it out. The wind's dropped a little bit. Well, I suppose that's some, it's a good thing. 
Right then, rod high. Whoa. Right, that's where we discover the downside of braid. <laughs> now, <laughs> I could edit this out. I could, or I could be honest. Now, given it's a thicker diameter, I have managed to, uh, you know, when it gets all looped. Yeah, it snapped off at the, uh, where the link is between the line and um, the trace. Let's try this again. So I put another pulley rig, single hook, size two, bit of bling, double rag on it. So I fished all day last time with braid, no bird's nests. Probably three hours today, no bird's nests. And then as you saw, a cock up. Whoa. <laughs> so a summary of um, would I use braid going forward? Um, simple answer is I would. Have to make allowances for the odd bird's nest, which takes kind of double the time to unpick. But if you've kind of used a multiplier for many years, as I have, um, and you can cast smoothly without snatching it, and I think that's the problem, is the transitioning from where it's going back to coming round and pushing into the cast. And also having the uh, speed of the drum adjusted so it's not overrunning too quickly. But it would be interesting to see how I would get on without level winds. And um, that is going to be the next experiment going forward. So I'm chuffed with... Um, the way it's actually worked, I didn't think it was going to work as well. But more importantly, the bite detection is extraordinary, as Andy was saying, on that tiny fish. Bam, bam. Um, so I'm going to stick with it, I have to say, and see how we get on um, moving forward with some of the other ideas I've got. But for me, it's trying to get out the distance here to get further than the others. Well, this rod here, Andy has just told me, it banged like, what did you say? Um, it, sound, it sounded like tuck, I think. <laughs> it's difficult to tell with this. See, I'm not used to the feel of braid as the weight drags along the seabed as to whether anything is or isn't on here. Please be a fish. So tired of not catching anything. <laughs> well, I... <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a fish, it shows they are there, <laughs> and I introduced my video with I've come down here for a place. Is it a place or is it a dab? I don't know. What's it doing here? Whoops. No, it's a little place, it's smooth. Right, we're going to get you back, little play. Right, it's 5.30, Andy's packing a rod up, <laughs> which I think means we're going to go. We fished all day. It's not been the best, but we've been out in the countryside, in the fresh air and by the sea. So I'm sorry I didn't catch any more fish. Um, thanks for watching. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.